So, January 2020, we all started seeing stuff online about people getting sick in other countries. Um, France was like shutting down, stuff in Europe was starting to shut down, and it seemed kind of far off for America. It seemed like we're too far away, it's not going to get to us. And then I remember seeing a meme uh, right before Valentine's Day, it was like February 13th, and it said, it had a little you know a picture of two people out to dinner and they were both wearing masks and it seemed like that seems pretty far-fetched but man if they made a meme about it then it's gonna be true right so I lived in Minnesota at the time Governor Walls he was uh, governing at the time and I worked at a uh, hamburger restaurant. It's been in business for like 50, 60 years or something now. And I was there for 15 years. And February, March 13th, I believe it was, they said that we were gonna shut down on March the 17th, 18th. So at midnight, I guess, or whatever, however they figured it out. But they were gonna let us go out and have a big old party time and have a super spreader event right before they thought that it was viable to shut down uh, the, the state for 14 days. So they're like 14 days to slow the curve. So I went to work um, St. Patrick's Day, super freaking busy day. A lot of people came through, obviously a lot of people drinking, a lot of people having a good time. Partially because it was St. Patrick's Day, but the other part of it was because they knew it was like the end of the world like February 14th was kind of like a, a precursor of what was gonna happen on March the 17th for me anyway um, I kind of got a little paranoid I went out and bought some 90 proof you know 90% uh, isopropyl bought some masks bought some gloves um, before they all went out of stock uh, I always had enough toilet paper so I didn't have to worry about that but so March 17th happens Governor Walls it's a big old party happen because it's very important that we shut down the state for 14 days well as y'all remember 14 days for mo whatever state you're in 14 days turned into 30 days turned into months turned into all kinds of stupid stipulations they were putting on businesses so my restaurant that I worked at, they uh, they shut down at the time, laid off some people because they had to, and I was unemployed for a little bit. So I started my own business, had a little hamburger shop because that's really all I knew how to do, make hamburgers. It's all I've ever been doing, and I knew how to do it well, so I made some hamburgers and uh, had a decent business going. But I remember October... 30th gosh I have to get my dates right because it was weekend so we'd have weekend parties at uh, the restaurant and Governor Walls decided to let us stay open for October 31st Halloween and this is how many months after St. Patrick's Day so they were still messing with me October 31st uh, shutting down restaurants doing the you know 20 diners in a dining hall and they all have to be six feet apart but groups of four could sit together if they knew each other they could wear masks into the building but they could take them off once they sat down like all these stupid rules that were just made up by somebody that thought that they knew how to keep people safe and what was weird is every restaurant that you went to was interpreting it different too because they had these rules but like a lot of rules are they're all open to how you see to interpret that, that set of rules so you'd see some restaurants with way more people than they should have had in one place you'd see um, the bar set up without six feet in between just all this stupid arbitrary stuff where I'm not a believer in any of that stuff I made it through I had COVID a couple times um, I know people that passed from it. I know people that survived through it. I know older folks that have lived through it. My dad's 80 and he's had it three times now. Um, but then again, his friend was a lot younger than him. Uh, I believe he was, gosh, 20 years younger than him probably. And he passed from it. But 
he had some underlying heart issues so i'm i don't know I'm, i think it's a cold i think it's just something that people get that just like the swine flu and the bird flu and everything else it does knock out some a lot of people it's it's a pandemic it's whatever it is but it's no reason to be shutting down the government especially when we're living in a capitalistic society where we have to have our society working for it to make money so when the government shut down they started giving us all this money um, I believe I was getting twelve hundred dollars a week or something stupid just like insane amounts of money to stay home and not do anything well look where we are now we're screwed now our economy's messed up gas is four dollars three whatever it is I don't even know it doesn't really matter because it's a lot more than it used to be and what's a gallon of milk now you know you got to think about all this stuff and when I think about it all and I hear that Governor Walls is now going to be a vice president it really makes me worry because this guy is the reason I left Minnesota I live in Texas now because I couldn't deal with the policies and all of the the rules and all the crap that he made up and basically shut my business down it was a beginning business beginning businesses are hard but he's the reason my beginning business did not make it and there was no way he could have let me make it so I went back to my home state of Texas I was born here um, I was looking at what they were doing they had already opened up all the way they weren't shutting down business like they were in other liberal states um, I came back to Texas and I gotta get a business going and get all that stuff rolling again down here but it's a lot better business environment down here than in Minnesota when I felt like they could just come in and make up any rules at any time at that point and then there was no no reason to try to stay there and make a business so I don't know if you're thinking oh Governor Walls is a good moderate uh, good guy to vote for gonna help out our country and all that stuff like just think he's one of the guys that was definitely shutting down the country when in my opinion we didn't need to be shutting down and in my opinion that's why we're having the problems that we're having today with this country other than the people that were elected and all that good stuff you know um, so I don't know don't vote for walls he's the reason I left Minnesota he's gonna make everything that Kamala wants to do even more extreme so yeah I don't know if you want an extreme liberal in the White House basically get walls if you want to deal with that then I don't know you're crazy but yeah anyway have a good night I just wanted to tell you all my thoughts on walls and after living in, under his uh, regime so yeah thank you Bye.